You're selling your home and you've been on the market for a while and you can't get it sold. Well, in today's video, I am going to tell you what the two signs of an overpriced property are. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say it's important that you're working with a real estate agent who can help you price it as close to proper pricing as possible in the beginning. Say that four times fast. And if you haven't watched my video about the four P's of marketing for your home for sale, make sure you click here or the link below to watch that video. But let's say you've done all the upfront work and you've priced it where you think is proper pricing, or you were told, hey, this is what the data supports, but maybe there's some things that are really unique about your home specifically that had you saying, well, I think we can either stretch a little bit or adjust from what the actual just data shows. So no matter what, you've gone on the market and now you're not selling. So how do you know if the reason you're not selling is because your house is overpriced? Well, here you go. Two signs. Sign number one, you've gone on the market and you've got an absolute cricket. That's right nobody's coming to see your home. Your agent's not getting phone calls, asking questions, and nobody is showing the least bit of interest. There are a couple of ways too that you can keep track of knowing if people are even noticing your property. And a couple of those are going on to some online sources to see are people viewing the property and if they're viewing it, are they saving it? This can be a really good indicator as to what type of interest is out there from the general marketplace. If you're getting a lot of views and no saves, that shows that people are seeing it and they're just skipping right by. So in this situation, what's happening is the product that you have is not matching the price and people are just going, eh, not interested. Okay, so if that's the case, then it's time to make a price adjustment and I usually recommend making that adjustment quickly. After all, you can't sell what you can't show. And so if people are bouncing right off of it and not even walking through the door, it's going to be dang near impossible to get a contract on that and get house sold and you moving on to the next adventure in your world, whatever that looks like. So if you're getting absolute crickets, you definitely have an overpriced property. And here's the thing, the data might be showing that you're priced properly, but sometimes the market shifts. So if people are just not looking at your home, then you need to adjust quickly. And I would submit that you probably need to adjust dramatically. Now there's no rule of thumb that says there's a certain percentage that you have to adjust by, but it's important that if that's the case you're facing, pull the data again, come up with a plan. I don't recommend just kind of going down by small increments if you're getting no showings. You have to find a spot that's not only gonna get a showing, but also get a contract. So, if nobody's even walking in the door, a big price adjustment could be in order. The second sign of an overpriced property is that you're getting showings, maybe lots of showings, but no offers. So far, everybody who has walked through your door has looked around and said, oh, this house is lovely, but it's not for me. Well, we need to find the people it is for. So if they're seeing the house and then bouncing off of it, that tells us you're priced a little closer to the correct pricing that's going to shake out that offer, but you're not quite there yet. So if that's the case, you do wanna make an adjustment, but maybe not as drastic. So this is a sign of an overpriced property, but it's overpriced for specific conditions. Remember, if you watch the four Ps of marketing for your home, you'll know that price and product have to have a good balance. So it's possible that people are looking at your home online and they're saying, oh yeah, that looks nice and it's in my price range, let's go take a look at it. But then they get there and maybe there's something about it. Maybe the house you know, photographs nicely, but you can't see all the dust and all of the scuff marks on the baseboards or things like that. And then they get in there and say, oh, well, the condition of this house really isn't as great as I was hoping. 
So in that situation, make sure you're talking to your agent because if that's the case, you may be able to just do a little work on the house instead of reducing the price. So just because your home is overpriced, based on what the market is speaking to you, it's overpriced at the condition it's in. So if they're coming to look at it and then bouncing off of it, you either need to correct whatever is going on with the house that's causing people to not write an offer at that price range. They're having a certain expectation of what the house will be and then that expectation is not met when they actually get into the home. So either fix the problems if it's easily identifiable or adjust the price down, but not as drastically as you need to if nobody's even walking through the door. It means you're getting close, just no cigar, not yet. So those are the two signs of an overpriced property. And as always, I highly recommend, make sure you're working with a seasoned agent who has expertise in your area who can help you really identify what's going on with your particular property, where the marketplace is currently at, and the best way to shake out an offer from the people who are currently looking. My name is Jackie Tate and my team and I do business in Arizona, but if you're looking for an agent no matter where, if you want a seasoned agent who can help you with proper pricing of your property and getting the job done, make sure you reach out to us. I've got a great referral network nationwide and I'm happy to put you in touch with the right person. You can fill out the form below. Other than that, stay tuned for the next video about getting your household here on our YouTube channel. Bye for now.